In today's KW command video, we are going to make a testimonial image for social media using designs. So we're inside KW command. Hey, I'm Lori Ballin serving Las Vegas, Henderson, Nevada, and you're at your command coach. And let's go ahead and make this. I made this this morning. Let me show you what we're making here. I made it this morning before coffee. First time I had ever looked at it and it only took me five minutes, all right? So let's go here and take a look at what we're making. All right, so we're making a testimonial um, image. So what I like to do is I like to collect testimonials through uh, Google My Business and Facebook. Those are my primary uh, ways I collect those. So we're just gonna grab a review from over there, all right? So I did one for Chris this morning. So I'm gonna go over here to Lori Ballin Team and open Google My Business right here I've got 66 Google reviews alright so let's do one for David now on my team so all we have to do on the left hand side we're gonna go down to designs now you won't have this template here so don't don't go looking for that until you create it we're gonna go over to social and we need to click the plus to add the social and create a template I'm not doing a listing and once we close that, it'll open up here. Now, command is constantly updating, so you may be able to get access this easier when you're actually watching the video, but for today, those are the steps we need to take to actually get here. I'm gonna show you this one more time because it's a little bit tricky, okay? So um, from here, you can click, pretend we're on the home, scroll down to designs, click the plus, social, create template, we're going to close out because we're not choosing a listing for this one and then your templates will pop up. Okay. We're going to go down here to client testimonial. Pick any of the testimonial templates that you want to use. So we'll use a different one this time. Now I suggest never putting too much text up here because it'll be ridiculous. So pick your favorite line out of the testimonial. So David Lamer represented uh, my home for sale. He was amazing. The home sale was difficult with a bunch of contingencies, but he managed it and we were able to get me the perfect home. David should be your realtor. He could handle it all. All right, so I definitely like the David can be your realtor part. So let's start with that. So I'm just gonna paste that in there. Right, and it looks like we can definitely put more in there. Let me see what else I want. Let's just do this one. Represented me. With my home for sale and new home purchase. He was amazing. David should be your realtor. He can handle it all. Okay, see how we're kind of now running into the bottom there? So this is a drag and drop. So you can just click and move things up. So this is perfect. So now I want the person's name. Who is this that said it? It is Julie Whitson. So I'm going to click right here. Okay. Julie Whitson. Now you can just drag that to give more room there. See how that is? Love the drag and drops. Make everything easier. Now this KW DBA name, that should be your broker logo. And um, once you've set up your marketing profile, this will all be in here for you already. So if you have not done so already, your marketing profile um, is under settings. It looks like I need to, I need to upload a different image here. I'm not loving how that one looks, but we'll go ahead with that for now. I've got way too much white space on there. And then you can add your own logo somewhere if you want. You know, the rules are KW logo has to be bigger than our logo. So I might do something like this. Yeah, I definitely want a different logo there.
you know what, I'll put that one up here. See how we can just kind of move things around and see what we like? Now let me see, transform, arrange. Okay, that'll rotate it. This will move it back or forward and that'll duplicate it, okay. I was just playing with it to see if we could crop right there from there yet or if we had the ability to um, put filters on it. So we'll keep playing with this as this develops, but I, I'll, that's fine. And then I've got my Lori Ballon logo down here, so that works. All right, so let's just say that's all there is to it. Um, but I think we need to have our branding on there somewhere, like our name. So I'm going to go to text, and I think I'll put in Lori Ballon team. Ooh, let me see if I can fit that within there. No, no, I'll stretch it all out. Okay, I am absolutely not the best designer um, by a long shot, not my strong point. And so I count on things like this to make it easy. <laughs> Maybe we can put that on top of that. I think I like that better. Let's see. All right, that works. Okay, and then we'll put Lori Valentine Las Vegas. And I want to put like a URL or something underneath that or phone number. So I'll go to text. And I'll drag my URL in there. And you can click on it to get rid of the HTTPS. We may or may not need that on our marketing profile. I need to take a look at that. All right, that's good. Oh, look at that moves. Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on. We can actually move that outside of that little bubble. And I think that's going to be better. I just don't want that to be as um, in your face there. Whoops, put that back there. I am a marketer. I am definitely not a graphic designer. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. We're just going to go right there. I think that's good. Okay. Yep. I like it. Oops. A little quote got off. So let me put that back. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to show you how to download this and how to share it to Facebook or to social media. Okay. So this is, um, this is, uh, the si Facebook size, but if you go back and look, you've got lots of options. So what we're going to do here, I think it looks good. You know, I want that just to be a little smaller, the Ballon Vegas. There we go. Yep, love it. Okay, so now we're going to download. And you could share right from here. I like to download first because one time I shared and I lost it. So I'm just going to share it. You can also include publish settings. Get fancy with all that. I'm just going to start download. And then it's going to pop up David Testimonial, Julie Whitson Desktop. Okay. Now, if I want to share from here, we're going to click Share, Share to Facebook. Now, you do have to have all of your social media. Um, oh, pop up blocks. Let's open that. You have to have it, um, your social media pages set up in your uh, settings for that to work. All right, that's what happened to me last time. So let's do it this way. I already downloaded it. So instead, I'm just going to go right here, photo. And then I'll put another five star review for David Lamer and Lori Ballin team. All right, now let me show you what that looks like. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. 
So as you can see, this locked up probably because that little pop-up thing. So I'll have to go back and fix that next time. But this is why we always save our image first before we go directly from here and try to share. So that's how we make a testimonial image for social media.